Okay. Well, this is a this is a video I did not expect to make today. Um, I was going to. Well, I still have to work on the thumbnail for tomorrow's video. Pretty much today, we got news that Halo Infinite is not going to have Forge or co-op campaign at launch. Um, unfortunately, as we focused the team for shutdown and really focused on a quality experience for launch, we made the really tough decision to delay shipping campaign co-op for launch. And we also made the tough call to delay shipping Forge past launch as well that, that's a bummer in my opinion um i stated on twitter that what's the point of having a split screen come back if you can't play co-op split screen for like for campaign like that was the whole argument for split screen in halo 5 was we can't play the campaigns in this split screen fashion in what could have been even though the campaign sucked for halo 5 halo 5 had four different players that you could play as. And that was a perfect opportunity to have split screen. But that, that's just, that's the game is six years old at this point. So I'm not really gonna talk about that. But uh, what does bother me is this reoccurring theme of games not shipping complete. And before I say this, I really appreciate 343 being super transparent with us and being honest. I really appreciate their communication. And I know that they want to ship the game with all the features and all that stuff too. I know they're not just doing it because they want to, they're doing it because they have to. And to be honest, I'm really curious if Microsoft has a hand in telling them to wait and launch Forge like in season three or split screen and co-op campaign in season two. Um, Forge has always been there at launch, except for Halo 5. And for me, I think that six months is way too long. If they can push it out in three or four, that's cool like i just feel like six months is just way too long and i understand that the game is a live service game but at the same time man like the custom games and stuff like that like people want to do like that's such a big part of halo it uh, it's just another thing that i actually thought about when i saw this news and i watched the video it makes me wonder about theater as well it makes me think about a lot of things like theater and you know all that stuff and custom games browser and all that stuff like literally all this stuff pops in my head when i hear okay forge and co-op campaign is going to be there at launch so when does the custom browser come in when does theater come in is theater going to be there at launch is the custom games browser going to be there at launch if there's no forge then how are we supposed to like make custom games and stuff like that so everyone knows that theater has been a pretty big you know thing in the halo community for a while since halo 3 pretty much and on top of that is there going to be campaign theater or no if there's no theater at launch and if there's no theater for campaign those are two other massive l's and i just i just want this game to be good man i just i, I want this game to be good i'm really happy with them doing the flight tests and they even said after launch there's gonna be flights for new stuff that's coming in for like i guess every season kind of like how they do with mcc which is great that's awesome like totally that's that's such good news and i really love that about 343 i will say i think the forge in this game is going to be fucking insane i've thought about this previously and i this kind of makes sense as to why forge is delayed even joe staten was like this forge is incredible what they've been able to do is just insane and it's just gonna it's gonna be so big obviously halo 5s was huge but in my opinion if this forge is not as good as el dorito's forge and halo 5 combined because in my opinion el dorito was great el dorito was fantastic for forge or halo online whatever you guys want to call it in el dorito you could put an elephant on guardian that's how insane the forge was and you could just change so many things about the forge and i really think that's what they're gonna do as far as how complex the forge is in this game but i'm really hoping that because we gotta wait six months for it and there's a new and there's a new team working on the forge that it's just a step up from el dorito and from halo 5 like it better blow those out of the water that's all i gotta really say about that to be honest but and then the co-op campaign thing so split screen is available on xbox the fact that there's no split screen co-op for campaign like it just it, like why have split screen there if you can't play co-op and campaign at launch there's a lot of people who just want to play the campaign in co-op fashion just like they used to and they couldn't do that with halo 5 so 
it just if, to me it just doesn't make any sense it, it doesn't make any sense to have it not launch or have the game not delayed for this but i understand why they're not doing it because it's not complete it's not ready and they don't want to ship a product that has a bunch of bugs and things like that i i get that part but yeah it's it's uh, to be honest in my opinion the news as a whole is a massive buzzkill it's an l um even if they delayed it by six months and they had it but see like they won't do that i think that's where microsoft is kind of like pushing their hand as in like okay you have to have it out by the holidays and that's kind of scary to be honest because if the game is massively buggy which i don't think it will be as far as multiplayer goes because like they're working on stuff and all that good jazz and based on what we've seen in the past couple of years of publishers pushing the devs to make sure that the game comes out by the holiday season to get holiday sales it just worries me it just does like and i just don't want halo infinite to flop i don't think it'll flop but i just want it to do good i want it to reignite that whole hey like a couple weeks ago when the flight came out it was just such an awesome feeling seeing people talk about halo i have people in carnage who are talking about halo and i'm just like yes like i've been so into halo for so long and it's just so nice to see people actually getting into it when news like this comes out it's just a super it's just such a bummer man once again and i know the pandemic kind of slammed this into the ground but it's been six years bro and i don't know how game development works i just don't want the game to be lackluster i don't want the game to have barely any content like halo 5 did halo 5 had ranked i, don't, I can't remember if it had ranked and non-ranked playlists i just know that it launched with like four game modes in the campaign and that was it and I just don't want that again. I, I am worried. I'm worried about the game. I wasn't super worried before this, but now with this news, I'm a little worried. But they did have some really nice stuff that they talked about too, which was, you know, big team battle flights with, you know, more stuff. And I'm going to assume that the big team battle flight is going to have the, the thruster in it or the jetpack or whatever and the repulsor in it. I'm not going to show it on screen because obviously it's a leak and I'm not going to sit here and report on that stuff and kind of like look at that stuff because i can get in a lot of trouble and i don't want that so so as far as like a custom game standpoint forge not being there at launch or three even three months after is a massive l it's not as big of an l as the co-op campaign thing in my opinion like especially if you're paying 60 bucks for a campaign 60 70 dollars for the campaign and you want to play it with your friends but like there's no co-op so like what's really the incentive to buy the campaign besides the hardcore fans who love halo and want to play the new story and all that stuff like me hey i don't mind playing it solo because i don't really have a lot of people to play the campaign with but what about everyone else that has people to play the campaign with you know if, if me and xperia wanted to play like we wouldn't be able to at launch you know and so to me that's just that's a bummer and it's, it's upsetting honestly it, it does make me a little upset i'm not gonna lie i'm still excited to play it and like i said before i really appreciate 343 coming out and being honest about it instead of number one lying about it or number two kind of like not talking about it and kind of just like letting the game roll out and not saying anything about it at all so yeah i don't know that's just like my thoughts on it um just let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'm still excited for the game and i can't wait to play it for you guys so you know and i'm excited for the flight test for btb and all that stuff because i'm pretty sure they said they're gonna do some arena stuff as well i think that's what they said i can't remember um but yeah so let me know what you guys think down in the comments thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see y'all later goodbye